bother for him? I know nothing about him. But you know this man, Palmer? Yes. You like Americans. You like white faces that look like boiled pork. Okay. Martinez? Yes. You are a guerrilla. I am a planter. You've been friendly with the American. You've opened your house to the guerrillas. You've provided them with money, food, and radio equipment. I have a full record of everything that you have given. Do you care to hear? It's not necessary. Do you deny that you're a Guerrero? I told you I'm a planter. Where is this American Guerrero named Palmer? You know, the man who comes here to see you. I don't know. Where is his radio station? I don't know. You will tell me. Okay. What? Oh. Oh. That is the way we treat Gerardus there. Now tell me. Where is the American? Where is he? Give in, you go, get off. That it was really touch and go. We'd become a tick in the Japs' hide. We'd stung them, and they were quick to hit back, but hard. In ever increasing forces, they moved into Leyte, beating, murdering, determined at all costs to wipe us out. Occasionally, I caught a brief glimpse of Jean and her aunt in some remote village, for now she too had become a fugitive with a price on her head. But our meetings were never for long, for always there was danger. Even a rumor of our presence in a village was enough to bring death and destruction in reprisal. spend Christmas Eve with you. Christmas? Had you forgotten? Forgotten? No, I, I had no idea. It's been so long since I've seen a calendar. May I come in? May you come in? You just try and get away. All right. Oh, here, I'm straight this way. How did you know where I was? There are ways of knowing. Look, I brought you a tree. Uh -huh. <laughs> I couldn't find a pine. No one should have Christmas without a tree. Thank you. 
Thank you for coming. I wanted to. It's not much like other Christmases, is it? Better. Much better. For me, too. It will always be the best. I remember one Christmas. When I was 12. I got a goat. I always thought that was the most wonderful Christmas in the world. Till now. I remember when I was 12, too. We'd left our shoes in front of the fireplace. And Your shoes? Uh -huh. In France, we don't hang up our stockings. Just put our shoes in front of the fire. And then we went to midnight mass. And after that, the réveillon. What's that? Um, something very special when you're 12. Kind of after midnight supper. Oysters and white wine. I remember when my father said I might come to my first review. I felt very grown up. And then in the morning, after Père Noël, your Santa Claus had come. We sat on the floor around the fire and sang. Jap's got him going into the village. Yeah. They bayoneted him. Somehow he managed to crawl all the way back with his stomach split open. I'll bring him inside. Okay. Watch him there, Garcia. All right, now take him off the stretcher. Put him on the cot. Easy. going to do? What can we do? There isn't a doctor within 50 miles. Then you'll have to do it yourself. Me? Are you crazy? Someone has to do it. Yes, but I'm not a doctor. I don't know about this sort of thing. It's a cinch he can't live with his intestines hanging out. We can just let him lie here and die. Well, some people would rather die in peace than be mauled around. No one prefers to die. I will help. Okay. If he's willing, I'll do what I can. How can he not be willing? Ask him. Miguel. Miguel. 
wishes you good luck. See if there's any hot water in the kitchen. Here's some sulfur thighs, so pulverize it. Are those stones good and hot? Yes. We'll probably need them later to wrap it up. And a blanket to keep him warm. Now. Open that bottle of antiseptic. Pour it over my hand. Get all the soap. That's fine. I'll bring that soap with us home. Morphine left. We'll save it and give it to him when he can't stand the pain any longer. Gene, bring this in the cotton. The bowl. Take off your shirt. What'd you expect? I told you I didn't know anything about this sort of thing. <laughs> I shall return. MacArthur. Next week, East Lynn. But he will. I know he will. When? When we're all smoked and cured and hung out to dry? I don't know when, but he will come, Chuck. The chaps can't go on forever. Well, neither can we. Chuck, I know how you feel. I know how much Miguel meant to you. But you can't give up now. You can't lose hope. hope. You have to go on. Miguel had hope. And look at him now, lying in there with his stomach open. But if we lose hope, we lose everything. Though dreary weeks and months still lay ahead, that Christmas somehow marked the beginning of a change on Leyte. For one thing, our subs were...